I'm Simon, head bartender here at Versailles, and welcome to Versailles' How To Into. Uh, what we're doing today is learning how to garnish with lemons and limes. Um, it's a good technique to know because it takes a drink that looks like that and pretty plain to looking a lot more visually appealing in one quick step. So I'm going to show you that by teaching you how to cut a lime into first wedges, which you do like so. What you want to do first is trim the ends off of the lime. So you have a lime that looks like that. And then next you want to cut it down the long side, like so. And you're left with two lime halves. Next step is you want to cut the lime right down the middle, like so, but not go through the back. So there's your slice. And what you can do now is cut diagonally, like that, and like that. You have three slices, and they're totally separated from each other. So you have a lime wedge, and this is a, a useful garnish because you can also use this particular garnish to squeeze into your drink if you actually want the lime juice. Like perfect example is a gin and tonic. Uh, gin and tonic, splash of fresh lime, tastes fantastic. It's a good garnish to get actual juice. If you don't want to use the juice, because we sliced it earlier, you've got that little slice there that you can just hang the lime wedge off of the glass, like that. So that's the lime wedge. Another useful garnish is the lime wheel, which essentially you just cut your lime in half, and it's up to you how thick you want the wheel to be. That's a good amount right there, just like so. And this is a good garnish to make the drink look a lot better. So you take it, you just throw it in like that, and all of a sudden you have a drink that looks plain and to a lot more appealing, just like so. Um, it's a good garnish for any drink with carbonation. So anytime you use a 7-Up or a soda or a gin and tonic again or a Collins, it's a perfect garnish. That's the lime wheel. A final useful technique for garnishing with citrus is to use a twist. Uh, twists are use, used in classic drinks like gin martinis, vodka martinis, french martinis, cosmos. So it's a very useful garnish to know how to do. First thing you want to do is take your lemon and you want to cut along the contour of the lemon, like so. So you're left with one of those. What we'd like to do next is cut a straight line down the side of the lemon peel, like so. So it's nice and square and even. And the final step is you want to cut diagonally across the top, and in the same way, cut diagonally across the bottom. So you're left with the lemon peel that looks a little bit like that. And we like to also rim your glass with the peel at this point, and it adds a really fresh essence of the lemon or lime onto the actual glassware. And the next step is you want to just actually grab the ends, twist it like so over the drink if you want the oils. And you throw it right into your drink and you have a lemon twist. So that's how you garnish with lemons and limes. 